I'm Levi Sim for Photofocus.com and I'm really excited to be sitting here today with Sasa Scheider from Plotograph. And Plotograph is the most amazing new tool. Right. It is animating still photography mm -hmm. and making just striking imagery that, that we can do so much more with than we could with, with a simple still photo and doing it simpler, more simply than any other tool I've, I've ever come across. I'm glad you're here. Thank Thanks you. For Thank us, you for Sasha. having us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, so let's let's get in here and, and take a look at this picture, and uh, you're going to show us how to get it moving and and show us. Oh, I'm just excited. Let's let's check <laughs> it out. All right. So here we are at the Photograph Pro sign in, and here you'll just put in your email. Pretty standard. So this is running from the web browser. I'm not using software on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. And I'm going to choose my file. Go ahead and do this JPEG And what here. files can I upload? Currently JPEG and PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this image. And here we are. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mask out the areas that we don't want to move. Okay. So I'm going to come over and do my automated mask tool. And this is the area that I don't want to move. And then I'm going to come back and add the area that I do want to move with this pretty green line. And you're being really precise here. <laughs> no, no, it's it's really quite quick at mm -hmm. selecting and realizing what you want to move, what what the difference between areas are. Mm -hmm, okay. Exactly. So as you saw, I can just keep adding lines like this, and it'll keep subtracting the mask, or I can come over to my brush tool. And then to get rid of this mask here, I'm going to come over and grab my eraser tool. Super simple. Oh yeah, easy. Okay. And this can go bigger or smaller. So just, just using the bracket keys. Is so after I do that, and I'm happy with my mask of what's moving, what's not moving, I'm going to come over and actually take off the lines view, because I yeah. like to see it nice and clean. And I can also see here, oh, I'm going to add another little spot with my brush tool, because I may have erased a little bit too much. And then there we go. Perfect. So next step is adding your points, which is going to be the starting point of all your movement. It'll be a little hard to see on this field, but I'll come over and select all of them. You'll be able to see it really well. Sure. And I imagine I could do this, well, since it works on the web, I can do it anywhere. And I could show a client how a picture would look for them or, um, you know, do a quick demonstration, demonstration and really knock some socks off. Exactly. So right now I'm just selecting multiple points and moving them at the same time. Yellow is the start, and then the blue is the end point. Okay. Exactly. So I have this here. Uh, you can come in and actually individually adjust each point. And again, when you spend more time on this, you can get it exactly perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what else I'm going to do is come over and add some stabilizing points. Like I don't really want the top of this hill to move here. So I'm just going to add a couple stabilizer points all the way down here that I necessar wouldn't necessarily want to do with a mask. I got you. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to add some points to the outside to keep that fluid movement going, and I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, so the so the movement continues off the screen. Exactly. Off the, off the edge of the picture. So you can see here, this is my animation mesh, and that's going to go off the image. So it's going to make a nice smooth movement okay. all the way around. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so it's easier to see. And I also had some points up here because I want the clouds to move. And come up and just drag all of them. Just animate those all together. Perfect. Exactly. So then I'm going to go over here and press play, and this will be our first preview. Wow. Okay, so those things are moving right on. It's a little jerky. It's a little jerky, and that's because right now we have the resolution down. So yeah. the way that you fix that is you come over here and you up the smoothness. Just turn up the smoothness. So this one might take a little bit longer to render, but it's much smoother. So if you're in front of a client, go ahead and up the smoothness so you can make it look nice and pretty. Excellent. While I'm here, I'm also going to add, if you saw, there was a little bit of drag right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is come over and feather out my mask. And what that will do is, I'll show you on the lines here, is it will make my mask bigger. So watch these blue lines right here. Kind of like refining the edge in Photoshop. Exactly. So what happened is this got thicker and it took away all those little points that may not have been completely masked. Okay, excellent. So I can go ahead and... So now let's go ahead and check out our preview. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. A lot smoother. And that, th I mean, that's like 32 seconds of work, and it, it's, it's showing movement, and really it's in different directions. The different areas are moving at different rates. Mm -hmm. um, and 
And like you've already shown me some other examples where you've you've shown me just a little bit more precision right. and and with just a little more refining, it is looking really slick. Exactly. Uh, this is such a quick, cool tool. And even just the examples you guys already have in stock are mm -hmm. mind blowing. And my my imagination is running wild with the pictures I've already taken. And and I can I can animate any photograph I've already made. I don't have exactly. to plan to go and shoot a video and Exactly. Wonderful tool. It what takes a cool out a tool. huge yeah. step and allows you to use those beautiful images that you have sitting there on your hard drives. I mm -hmm. know you do. <laughs> oh yes, so many, so many pictures. Excellent. So this is looking great, and it's it was fast to do. Of course, with more precision, with a little more refinement, we could um, make it just a little bit better as well. Mm -hmm. But for a quick preview, this was amazing. Um, and now we can save it. We can export it as a file that we can download to our computer but it's also stored on your server in mm -hmm. my account. I'll go ahead and show you the export really quickly. So you come up here and you hit export as, and here you can hit the image size. Okay. Um, and it'll go up to the size of the image that you already uploaded. Pick your size and go ahead and press export and you're ready to go. That's awesome. And then I can download it. I can view it anywhere in the world. Um, I can go back to my project now, or we could export it at a different resolution for another purpose at the same time. Exactly. We don't have to go and redo everything. That's really cool. Exactly. And if you want to see all your exports, you just go to the My Export page and you're ready to go and download it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you've been here with us, Sasha. It's, it's such a, a pleasure to see this wonderful tool. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. Where can we find it? Where can we see more? So you can go ahead and find this at plotographpro.com. Thanks for joining us.